3D printing is great, but unfortunately we get lots of ender rolls and empty spools. Now this type of plastic is not recyclable and unfortunately it just goes to landfill and it's not something I want to do. So there is ways that we can make use and utilise these. First off what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we can join all our ender rolls or samples that we get. And also I just quickly jumped onto Thingiverse and I found these excellent containers that only utilise this empty spool. So to join the filaments it's really easy. All we need is a little tea light, a lighter, the snips, any pair of snips or indeed the snips that came with the printer. We need a piece of the Bowden tube. Now it's only two inches long and it has a 45 degree angle cut on one edge. Make sure the cuts are nice and clean. It's just very gently heat up a little bit. I just want to stretch out ever so slightly. Trim the ends. And now we do exactly the same to the other piece. Just want to pull it out ever so slightly and trim it off just so you've got a little bit of a point. One end through the bowden tube and we have the other piece here. To join them all we need to do is just very quickly get a little bit, not both ends, push them together, twist the tube round and down a little bit to make sure it's free. There we have it. We have the joined piece of filament, all joined. You can leave the Bowden tube on there because it'll just go with the reel. We can use this method to join the same colours, multicolors together, and this way we can use up all our odds and sods. So let's get on and let's first print the containers. Got some pretty cool looking little storage containers here. Each one of these took about four hours on the end of three because it is only a standard printer apart from the direct drive unit. I've got some four mil panhead screws so we're just going to put one of these containers in place. We're going to mark where we want the hole and then we're just going to take a four mil drill and drill the pilot hole. And now I'm just going to move around one by one, doing the same, getting them all into place. Of course you want to make sure each one's able to be opened up as well. On the same file as these little spool holders. Now these also, so you can stack multiple of these together. I'm just going to use this to keep this off the desk. I also printed this black disc, just so I can stick it on the top here, just to tidy up the appearance a little bit. But there we have it. We've got a nice little container here, which has stopped all this plastic going to landfill waste. Um, if you have any other good uses for waste materials, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching.